What is up, Scorpio? Welcome to February 2024's Love and Soulmate Reading, offered to you by myself, Vicki from Velfry Tarot. So, we are going to get off to this. I'm telling you, February is going to be a little interesting for some of the other signs here. So, let's hope that it's good for Scorpio, because Lord knows I'm a Scorpio. Uh, <laughs> just a reminder, I'm going to continue my sale this month uh it goes until february 14th 11 59 p.m eastern standard time if you can get 15 dollars into me by then you will get two 20 minute readings that you can use at any time throughout the calendar year okay so if you're interested in that uh check out the details below and you can comment and contact me and let us know and we will get that on the books all right that being said scorp here we go See what we got. Not stubborn. Eight of Swords in reverse. So no longer worrying about something. <clears throat> God. Usually they flip out. They don't get stuck. Three of Swords and King of Cups. So heartbreak about um, a situation. Maybe a disappointment with who you thought someone was. And then the tower in reverse, maybe trying to stall, trying to avoid the inevitable here. The emperor in reverse and the two pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so feeling a little off balance and maybe trying to force a situation or trying to find balance while being around someone who might be manipulative um, and have a little bit of a ego based temper all right one more death card hey there we are changes are coming and so this is what's happening the gemini reading these things were popping out like crazy too definitely a lot of messages here all right Good. Cut left. Deal right. First card, score is you. Temperance. Ironic. Sagittarius instead, but close enough. Uh, temperance is an energy of forgiveness and peace. Looking for just, this is the angel of peace. Like you're looking for balance. You're looking for everything just to calm the F down, right? Energy that you're in is the justice card in reverse libra energy uh justice in reverse kind of says that the verdict is still out like there's no yes and there's no no but you kind of just feel like you're waiting on on an answer right and it hasn't come yet how you see your loved one five of cups in reverse so that's good actually to have the five of cups in reverse you see them as someone who's not sad, not disappointed, um, maybe focusing on the right things in the relationship, but they're still in an emotional state. So let's, we'll get some answers here, but, um, your loved one is the eight of cups walking away from something that no longer serves them, but they're not walking away. So this is interesting. Okay. Or you don't think they're walking away, uh, energy that they are in. It's the knight of wands. Yeah, not, not feeling very passionate right now. Not wanting, wanting to make an effort. All right, how you see them is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, not wanting to make an effort. Seven of Pentacles is all about putting the time in and waiting, seeing where this goes, putting the effort in, building, right? Um, seven of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's just, they're over it. They don't want to wait anymore. All right, next card. This is going to be advice from the universe on how you can help in this relationship queen of wands okay all right i see you aries energy uh queen of wands is all about step into yourself be the boss bitch that you are basically step into yourself step into your ego be confident with who you are and everything will go your way because people see you people admire you and no matter what's going on in this situation you are going to be okay because you know who you are. 
you know what you bring to the table. Same thing for your loved one over here. So what do they need from the universe to help with this relationship? Nine of Wands. All right. Nine of Wands is exhausted, but still in it. They have one more go at it. It's like a cat with eight lives. They got one more left, right? There's ten wands for it to be finished. You're at nine. You're almost there. Willing to still fight for this one more time, okay? Overall advice for both of you with the future of this relationship is the Page of Cups. Gentle message. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Uh, you want to go get coffee? You want to go talk about this? You know, just kind of being a friend almost. The Page of Cups is more of a friend card than anything else. But um, definitely an emotional offer coming your way via message, not actual physicality of arrival. The energy under the deck, though, is Two of Pentacles. Finding balance, which is good because we got balance, balance. We got Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, Water Signs, Air Signs, Earth Signs. So let's, uh, and a fire sign here. So we'll get some clarification here and see where we're going. All right. Let's see. What do we got for temperance here? Clarification for Scorpio for February 2022. Three of Cups in the upright. So temperance is reminding you just to have a good time. Just relax. Spend time with some friends, maybe. Again, that page of cups pops out. Um, yeah. What's this Three of Cups about? Can I just give a little? That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. So we got judgment in reverse. So again, we're still waiting. We're waiting on something. Um, King of Swords is someone who's very, very bossy, but almost manipulative now. They're sharp-tongued. They might say a lot of hurtful things. They might gaslight you. King of Swords in reverse. But we're also getting the Two of Cups. So that means this is a soulmate contract here. There's something with a soulmate contract. So it could be that maybe you've gone through a stressful time, Scorp, and you, again, like, you're just kind of anxious about how this thing is going to play out, even though it's not out in the cards yet. But I think, you know, this is a soulmate type of connection, but you're just waiting to see what the other person's going to do. Okay. All right. Justice card. Can I get a clarification for the justice card in reverse? What's going on here? What's going on here? Justice card for Scorpio. Six of Wands. Yeah. So you might be waiting or trying to achieve balance. And again, you're trying to achieve balance, trying to achieve balance, temperance, justice, two pentacles. You're trying. You're trying to achieve balance. And the universe is just trying to tell you, just be proud of who you are, be confident in who you are, and the results are going to come your way. Okay? Five of Cups. Clarification on why you see your loved one that way. Why do you see your loved one as the Five of Cups? That's going to come. Okay, because this isn't over yet. Because it ain't over. It's not over. <laughs> Ten of Wands in reverse is uh, is exactly where I was saying from Nine of Wands. It almost like is like nine and a half is the Ten of Wands, right? It's not over yet. So you know they're not giving up all the way yet. At least you're hoping they're not. Okay. Eight of Cups over here. What's this? Walking away from something that no longer serves you. It's not always walking away from a relationship, though. So let's get a clarification here. Could be walking away from a behavior, an addiction, a place that just left them unhappy. What's this? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Just one card. One card for Scorpio is a lava. All right. There it is. Popped out. Yeah. Just, they're unhappy. Uh, Ten of Cups in reverse. There's just a, there's a melancholy in this here that's just kind of sitting in the cards. They're unhappy. They're walking away from... I need a clarification. Ten of Cups. Yeah. All right. They're walking away from what doesn't help them be happy, Okay. They're going to communicate this and they're going to basically send the page of pentacles, which is a messenger like, Hey, 
I really want this to work, but I'm not happy right now. And something has to change. And if it doesn't, I'm, I'm leaving kind of message there. Okay. Uh, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. That's the energy they're in in reverse. And the Page of Swords. Yeah, really minor energies here. Page of Swords. This could just be a new relationship for you or a relationship where you're both kind of timid to have a conversation about what's needed. Maybe you don't know how to tell each other what you want. That's definitely possible with the way these cards are setting up. I mean, Scorpio, you're you're confident in who you are. You're going to say what you need to say. This other sign over here, a little timid. Uh, Page of Swords is always about like, I'm thinking about you, like that type of message, you know? Let's get another one here. Yeah, I'm thinking about you. I'm putting the work in on myself kind of thing. Um, I'm willing to work at this. You know, when you see Eight of Pentacles in the upright, it's working on something. Seven of Pentacles, which is funny because you see them as not wanting, or they see you as not wanting to work on anything. <laughs> and they're like, I'm willing to work on this if you're willing to, you know, I'm willing to give it another go. Yeah. Okay. So there was, they see you as the Seven of Pentacles because they see you as distracted. You're in the Seven of Cups and they see you as holding on to something, um, not living in the past, but like holding on to something emotionally that isn't helpful in this process. And then the sun, I think what the, the universe is saying is that they see you as someone who you have too many options in front of you. And because of that, you feel obligated to do certain things. But the reminder is you can't just stop trying if you just focus on what's in front of you right now, you will be happy. Okay? Sun, Leo energy. All right. Queen of Wands, Scorp. Fitting, since Aries and Scorpio share Mars as a planet. Nope. 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 Too many. Too many. Come on. Get up. Doesn't want to get up. All right. One card, please. One card for Scorpio. One card over here for Scorpio. Queen of Wands. What is this advice? Step into yourself. Step into your truth. Be confident. Be who you are. Be passionate. Take charge. Two of Wands. It's leaving it up to you what path you want to take. Do you want to stay or you want to go? You want to give this another go? Because they're ready. They're going to give it another go if you want it. Yeah. They're going to give it another go if you want it. All right. We just got Cancer Energy. Queen of Cups now. Okay. And then the Two of Pentacles. So what it's saying is, if you want to give this another go, it's going to happen. But you need to live in yourself. Be a boss-ass bitch. But also be open about how you feel and what you want from this relationship. If not, it's going to cause an imbalance. And you're just going to be back at square one all over again. All right, nine of wands, nine of wands here, nine of wands, clarification, nine of wands, yeah, seven of pentacles, interesting, they see you as not wanting to put the effort in, but they're saying, I'll give it another go if you show me that you want to put the effort into this, it's a pretty good deal, Scorp, I'm just saying, if you want this, if you want it, it's a good deal, all right. Page of Cups. What's this overall? Okay, High Priestess in reverse. That usually says that you're not following your intuition and not following your gut. Why? It's an insecurity card. Yeah. Three of Swords in reverse because you don't want to get hurt again. And the Death card because everything is going to change. Things have to change. Things have to change in this relationship. It'll work as long as both parties put the effort in. As long as you are honest, Scorpio, with what you need and what you want out of this relationship, and as long as they see that coming from you, then they are willing to put the effort in as well. 
Yeah, and the energy under the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Again, if I see all of this happening, the Knight of Pentacles is going to be an offer of commitment, but it's slow moving. This is going to be a slow moving process, okay? All right, let's get an extra clarification card here for Scorpio. Scorpio for February. Those two popped. We're going to take them. Wow, what do we got? This is the Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination deck. Okay, so we have the Spirit of the Gargoyle, Intimidation, Guardian, and Protector, and the Spirit of the Flocks, Gossip, Rivals, and Posse. So this kind of feeds into that representation of what's going on with you over here. I think maybe you want some peace. You just want to have some fun, maybe hang out with your friends. And there might be some someone chirping in your ear telling you what to do because they think they know what's best. But the truth is they're not in this relationship. You are. Why on earth are you listening to someone else? Talk to your partner. If you want this to work, talk to your partner. Okay? The intimidation, the guardian, the protector part, that's that king of swords in reverse. That's, that's the king of swords when they're blocked. Um, they get really controlling. They like to intimidate. <coughs> You know, they like to force people to do what they want instead of being genuine. And then people will do what is expected of them without you even having to ask because they respect you, right? All right, Scorp, let's see. One final piece of advice for you for February 2024. This is for Scorpio only. Just one card of advice here. Wow, wow, that didn't just come out completely. Psychic protection, yeah. Protect yourself from the negativity around you, okay? Um, there's energy everywhere, and there are people that are trying to influence you everywhere, and it could be that the people who have the best of intentions might be the point as to why you have some negative thoughts going through right now, okay? Okay. Psychic protection, when we hear this, it's basically asking the universe to protect you and shield you from any negative thoughts and help you grow and stay on your karmic journey, okay? Psychic protection is telling me someone someone has it out for you. There might be an energy vampire that's draining you or um, someone might psychically just want you to fail or want this to fail so that they feel like they have more power over you or more control over you. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't think it's this person. I think it's someone external to you. And it might be one of your friends or a coworker. Um, this is like planting the seed of doubt in your head. Don't let that seed take fruit, right? Don't let that take fruit. No one else is in this relationship but you and your loved one. Keep it that way. Okay? Sounds like... You're going to be okay, but you you got to put the time in. You got to wait it out. You got to give it another go if you want this. And if not, hey, move on. But uh, if you want this, it's there. It's there for sure. All right, Scorp. Interesting reading for sure. Um, if you would like to follow up with me on this and get a private reading regarding this, I am more than happy to help you out. Just contact me with the uh, information below this video. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, etc. I will see you next month, Scorp. Deuces.